fun day. So, President Biden is wearing new sneakers that are designed to prevent him from falling. Here's the prototype. <laughs> and this is exciting. They're also working on a shoe that will keep Kamala from talking. <laughs> Meanwhile, the president is bracing for a huge national security threat as gangs flee a violent, torn Haiti. Joe's already gathered a force to repel them. <laughs> Just days ago, the president was seen confused and feeble as staffers ushered him inside as it began to rain during an event, saying it's hard enough to keep his pants dry when he's indoors. <laughs> Boom. The country of Niger has announced an end to their military relationship with the United States. Don't expect Biden to comment on the matter. His staff is terrified he'll mispronounce the name. <laughs> ah, there you go. Two-thirds of U.S. adults would rather skip the movie theaters and watch new flicks at home on streaming. That way, women can look at their phones throughout the movie and then force you to rewind it 13 times to find out what happened. <laughs> you all do that. On Friday, Vice President Kamala Harris and rapper Fat Joe met to discuss easing marijuana penalties. Next up, she'll be discussing global warming with vanilla ice. <laughs> According to a new study, woke people are more unhappy, anxious, and depressed. Or it could be the reverse, unhappy, anxious, and depressed people are more woke. Either way, they're ugly. <laughs> 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 Pet rocks, which were a fad in the 1970s, are making a comeback in South Korea. Like the classic toy, the rocks will be packaged in cardboard boxes, but be called the Biden. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO of Hertz has resigned following the company's bet on electric vehicles went bust, so they're bringing in a new boss to slash prices. Old enough to remember that. Boom. The second man has been charged with the 2005 theft of a pair of ruby slippers Judy Garland wore in The Wizard of Oz. And I'm thinking, come on, there has to be an easier way to tell your family you're gay. <laughs> Reports allege that the tiny Arab state of Qatar apparently considered expelling Hamas leadership. No word yet whether Harvard will do the same thing. Sixty percent of likely voters oppose Biden's secretive flights that have transported 300,000 illegal immigrants across the nation. Some oppose it because it's cruel and unusual to make illegal immigrants fly united. <laughs> a woman who identifies as a dog made headlines after appearing on an Australian radio show. Well, that's nothing. In America, we have five dogs that identify as women on a TV show. <laughs> you applaud. <laughs> All right, to the monologue. <laughs> Some bad news, everyone. Jesse Waters is dead. Oh. Set against appearing on this show until his book is out. <laughs> which means... <laughs> You've been hoed. Yes, it's time for You've Been Hoaxed, where the reporting is as legit as the padding in Dylan Mulvaney's bra. <laughs> it's the media's playbook written by their coaches on the left. First they lie, then they attack you for saying it's a lie, then they say it may be false, but it still fits a pattern of other lies they believe to be true, which is how we got this weekend's bloodbath of a bloodbath. The media claimed Trump predicts a bloodbath if he loses, of course, leaving out that Trump was referring to the automotive industry if Biden's policies continue. True, the media hit the context like a microphone I hide in a construction worker's porta potty. Oh. <laughs> I told you that was a bad joke. <laughs> Here's what Trump actually said. Let me tell you oh, something man. to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal. Those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, 
We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole — that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. The least of it. So there you go. Clearly, Trump's bloodbath referred to the impact of Chinese and Mexican imports on our auto industry. Trump's not suggesting anyone will bathe in blood. Even Pelosi, who actually bathes in blood to keep her figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But Trump's actual words make this New York Times headline about as accurate as Stevie Wonder playing cornhole. <laughs> Bloodbath? Really? Once again, it's the media whores who pretend to misunderstand metaphors. Truth is, of course, it's just a deliberate hoax machine doing what it does best, taking something out of context, creating a story around it, and trusting their media pals to amplify it. And a whole host of other media hacks did, while assuming you're too dumb to notice. Here's Nancy Pelosi at ground zero for hoaxes, CNN. We just have to win this election because he's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? There's something wrong here. How... Um Respectful I am of the American people and their goodness. But how much more do they have to see from him to understand that this isn't what our country is about? Mm, that was scary. <laughs> Thought I was watching the latest version of Faces of Death. <laughs> Talk about hard hitting questions. You rarely see that many softballs tossed outside of a lesbian barbecue. <laughs> hey, Dana, bat your eyes or something next time so we know that you're alive. But like most Trump hoaxes, this one stood up to scrutiny as well as Jesse's hair in a wind tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty good, bald. He does. He really does. So why is that? Well, we've changed. We've learned that the media cannot be trusted. We know to check their work since they won't do it themselves. It wasn't always this way. Remember the fine people hoax? Everyone fell for it, including Fox. But thanks to some of us and others outside this network who doggedly exposed that hoax and many others, Americans are now smarter and savvier about the hoax makers. We suspect all stories like this and question them in search for context. This didn't used to happen. Now it does. And props to Elon Musk's ex. Under the old regime, this would have been labeled fact before we even got out of bed. But now with the full context out there, the hoaxers had to change tack. It doesn't matter that it's out of context, we're told. Trump is capable of anything. Right. Which is Democrat for, crap, let's cover our smelly asses. <laughs> no, you jerks, you were caught again. These people are like smash and grabbers who forget the getaway car and commit the crime but are left holding the case of men in speed sticks. <laughs> so now you'll see the media shift from it not being true to, but it's true in the context of uh, the other hoaxes. True, the hoax is based on other hoaxes. For you to believe that Trump meant a literal bloodbath, he needed to believe in the fine people hoax, the Jesse Smollett hoax, the drinking bleach hoax, and so on. It's like saying you should believe in the Easter Bunny because there's the tooth fairy. But while we watch the hoax implode on impact, Dems are still protected in a hoax bubble. They're as immune to the truth as Hunter is to penicillin. But maybe it's Trump's own fault. I mean, he's so over the top. The Democrat media would never use a term like bloodbath, would they? Politico.com reports tonight on the, quote, bloodbath at the RNC. Joe Biden was just talking the other day about, you know, his concerns about a negative blood bloodbath. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Elections may not be the bloodbath for Democrats. This is probably going to be a bloodbath. It would be a bloodbath. Bloodbath at the ballot box. I think shrinks call that projection, which may be why you feel like projectile vomiting right now. <laughs> So how do they think they can still get away with this? Are they that stupid, delusional, or just plain lazy? Please don't make us choose. The reason they're sweating harder than Judge Janine going through an airport metal detector <laughs> is they know we're on to them. We're not falling for it anymore. The media's goal is not to provide information. It's to persuade and use whatever means necessary to get you to fall in line. So maybe the Dems' obsession with the single word bloodbath is legitimate. Because perhaps the polls are telling them there's one on the way. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She's so offbeat, white people can actually dance to her. Host of Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy. He's the only judge I'd like to see disrobed. Actor and comedian Vince August. 
This is the most exposure he's gotten since opening his raincoat. Host of the Fox News Saturday Night, Jimmy Fallon. And this cat's pronouns are me and ow. New York Times best-selling author and Fox News contributor, <laughs> Pat Jim. Kennedy, are you surprised how quickly this uh, this this particular hoax deflated? It's almost becoming like a sport. No, people have seen it. We've been to this rodeo. This is now our third Trump presidential election, and we saw the same dynamic play out in 2016. It just took longer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it, it's easy to forget that the media actually propped up Trump for a long time in 2016 because they thought he would be so easy for Hillary to beat. So they've kind of done that through the primary season. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, gosh, you know, he's actually funny, and look at the impression of Biden. But now that Biden and Trump are both the presumptive nominees, now we have a complete shift, and we've got another seven and a half months mm -hmm. of this kind of reporting and distorting and it's really unfortunate because they have not learned anything about, you know, being skeptical or objective reporting. And Trump says enough bad crazy stuff mm -hmm. that you don't have to project anything new <laughs> exactly. onto the stuff he says that's actually pretty rational. Yeah. Because if people took the time to listen to what he was saying, they'd be like, yeah, gosh, we really don't want those auto worker jobs that we fought so hard to keep in places like South Carolina going to Mexico for good. I didn't even know about that story until the, the left amplified it. And I go, wow, this is helpful, Vince. And now, uh, Kennedy says well, they never learn. What if it doesn't matter if they learn? They kind of know that their that their own audience lives in a bubble, so they'll never see the out of they'll never see the context. No, the, the, listen, the sheep are always going to follow the flock. But what I mean, this story is great for this network and all the independents out there. Mm -hmm. And this way, when they sit back and say, "Well, why is everyone listening to Rogan and Tim Pool and Jim Dore?" This is why. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, they're never going to learn because. People are never going to go back until someone like Rachel Maddow actually says, look, remember when I said the virus goes from person to person to person until it gets to the person that's vaccinated and then it dies? You know what? That was a lie. Here's why I said it. Here's who told me to say it. Until they come out and do that mea culpa, no one's going back. They're never getting back that audience. You know what I say? Good. Yeah. But it happened. They yeah. all come here to see me. That's what I say. <laughs> Jimmy, bloodbath, oh, bubble bath. I'd be happy if you just took a bath. Boom! There's the Greg we know and yeah. love. Yeah. What do you make of this uh, development? It happened literally, tw it took maybe 18 hours. Still people like Hillary were tweeting about it. Yeah. It was hilarious. No, they ran with it. I think what the media is learning is like this show, they need new material. Oh! And, uh, <laughs> you know, I love you, and I would not have a show were it not for you. So that's, I always- I'm glad you remember I that. I never legitimately criticize him. And Wait, I'm, do you have a show? <laughs> Sean Hannity actually yes. stuck up for you on my show this Saturday night. Oh, really? I said, which Fox personality would make the best cop? He said Gutfeld. Oh, wow. And I said, but you couldn't drive the car because you can't reach the pedals. But anyway, <laughs> let me give you a real point. I that was a long set. It was. It was. was yeah. Anyway. Uh, but no, let me stick with you here. Okay, this matters. First of all, Trump is wrong mm -hmm. to worry about China opening up factories in Mexico because thanks to Biden, everyone in Mexico is already here. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> there's, there's nobody to work. It's like three fat guys who didn't want to walk a few miles to the border. Mm -hmm. But what they're coming back to is there's a real desperation because now we're in the general, as Kennedy said, and they have to sell Biden. And that's the liability here. They're not doing this because they think he means it. They're doing this because they need to socially pressure people away from supporting Biden because that's the angle. Mm. Like, if you're trying to sell Biden right now, you're trying to sell cruises on lifeboats from the Titanic, mm. and nobody's dying to sign up. That's yeah. basically it. One guy. One guy loved that joke, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Saturday yeah. night, 10 o'clock. Right? On, on my show, that's a lot of audience. Yeah, this you is a might want to take them with you. When you're, uh... <laughs> I have to. You know, Kat, I keep, you know, we keep hearing the phrase, a boy who cried wolf. Shouldn't we just replace it with the media cries whatever, cries Trump? Because I'm tired of that analogy. Well, yeah, because... It, that's absolutely true, right? I, I saw all this, all these headlines about how Trump called for a bloodbath, earnestly suggesting that the Republican nominee for president says if he doesn't win, then people are going to be murdering each other in the streets en masse. And I didn't even click on it. Yeah. <laughs> like, think about how crazy that is just yeah. for a second that I was like, 
Uh, it probably didn't. It didn't happen. Like, it probably didn't. Like, I, something that sensational, I mean, it's it's written so that it's it's purposely sensational, mm -hmm. and I have zero interest in even clicking on it because I know that it's going to be something like this. And I, of course, I <laughs> did click on it because I'm here today. But uh, even even still, as it's been exposed, people are still saying, well, no, no, that, that no, that you that you, you know what he really means. It's like, no, no, no. But, but do you? You just yeah. watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know who the best guy is? Joe Scarborough. Yeah. Because Joe Scarborough tweeted this yesterday, and then Elon fact-checked him in real time, so he deleted the tweet, knowing it couldn't be held up to scrutiny, mm -hmm. but then went on his show it's today. <laughs> yes. And he goes, oh, you all know he meant a bloodbath. And yeah. we're like, no, we don't know that. Yeah, he just told you that X is more important than his show. That's what he, he told will you. He will still lie yeah. on his show. But uh, to Kat's point, and then we'll move on, uh, I don't click on anything with Trump in it because no. I know it's not true. It's just like I've got, why, I'm going to waste my time and find out at the end that, the, that what what's in the headline is not what he well, said. To Kennedy's point, too, I mean, I, I'm a libertarian. I do have issues with Trump, right? But there are people who now, they don't believe anything. Thing, yeah. And because they've been lied to so many times and in such a ridiculous way. I mean, that is really one hell of an accusation. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> but you know what, what Kennedy said about the things you can get them on? The problem is they can't argue policy against them yeah. because their policies stink. Yeah. So if you had an actual policy, then you'd go after them for it. But you're afraid of your own policies. Yeah, exactly. All right. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.